This is 10 Eyewitness News, first at five, with Stephen Quartermain and Candace Wyatt. Good evening. First tonight, exclusive details of a chilling plot to carry out deadly terror attacks here in Australia. We can reveal an overseas jihadist online attempts to recruit followers here to carry out the terrorist attacks on home soil after the man was arrested in the United States in a joint operation involving the FBI and Australian Federal Police. The dramatic developments come after a five-month investigation by reporter Chanel Vella. Chanel joins us now in the studio and Chanel you first came into contact with the accused man in May this year and since then you've been working with federal authorities. That's right Candice, I came into contact with Goldberg a number of months ago and I have given that information to the AFP. There were several emails between myself and Goldberg during that time. The AFP has since used my information to work with the FBI and they made his dramatic arrest last night. FBI agents will now allow that Goldberg was talking to an undercover agent and encouraging him to make a pressure bomb filled with nails laced with rat poison. But lucky for everyone, that bomb was never made and Goldberg's terror plot was foiled. Joshua Ryan Goldberg boasted of bringing terror to Australia from behind a computer in a middle-class suburb of Florida. Look, what he was actually doing was enticing people online to conduct attacks on his behalf. Last night in a joint operation between the Australian Federal Police and the FBI's Terrorism Task Force, he was arrested in Jacksonville. He's been charged with distributing information relating to weapons of mass destruction and bomb making. We have no information. There hasn't been any kind of a pre-hearing or anything. Okay. They came and uh, took Joshua today and this, that's all I can tell you. This took you off guard? Uh, yes. The 20-year-old, however, told federal agents a lot more, waiving his right to silence. He revealed a plan to recruit someone in Melbourne to carry out an attack here. Court documents detail his online messages. In one, he wrote, I'm trying to get a mujahid in Melbourne to carry out jihad, but he keeps delaying it. He has a gun already, but he insists on making a video. I'm afraid he'll get caught before he can do it. A very thorough investigation in relation to every person that this individual in the US was in contact with and we are extremely satisfied that we have chased every rabbit down the burrow and no person in Australia in relation to this individual is currently a threat to national security. But after weeks of surveillance, it was an imminent threat to tomorrow's 9-11 commemorations in the US that forced authorities to act. After his arrest, he told investigators he'd planned to bomb a ceremony in Kansas. He also claimed to have been a key player in a plot in Garland, Texas, including providing information on how to make a pressure cooker bomb filled with nails and laced with rat poison. Ten Eyewitness News came into contact with Goldberg in May, at the time he claimed to be living in Perth. Hiding behind the username Australia Witness, he described himself as a soldier of IS and an advocate for Sharia law in Australia. In one tweet he said, we need more 9-11s, more Charlie Edbos, we need to bring the West to its knees with jihad. It's about creating fear in the community, it's about fear mongering and it's about trying to, if you like I suppose, uh, bring a sense of bravado. We were so concerned about Goldberg's rantings we decided to alert Australian Federal Police. On their advice I attempted to shut down communication with him, a request he initially ignored and in one chilling email he told me he had a recruit in Melbourne who was in the process of arming himself to carry out an attack. There must be many, many recruiters out there uh, just like this individual who's been arrested. In yet another online rant, he singled out the Australian government, warning of payback over law changes he considered anti-Muslim and threatening a jihad on Australian shores. Back in the US, neighbours were alarmed at the thought they've been living next to a wannabe terrorist. I know he's allegedly accused. Uh, if they find him guilty, I hope he never gets out of prison. Goldberg remains in custody in the US. If found guilty, Goldberg could face up to 20 years jail in the United States. The AFP have told me they won't bring charges against him, but they will still use their information to support the FBI's case.